All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at solving one step inequalities with multiplying or dividing by a negative number, and this is to both sides. So we're just going to explore some numbers when we are multiplying by positives and negatives just so we can get an idea of why this happens, okay? So we're looking at these two columns here, and we're going to be putting a less than or a greater than symbol there. So we can just start with this one here, 4 or 3. Which one's bigger? Well, that's going to be the 4. So it's going to be 4 is greater than 3. Remember, the alligator eats the bigger of the two numbers. Okay, now we'll start multiplying. So we're going to multiply both the 4 and the 3 by 3. So now we have a 12 and a 9. Well, the 12, or the left-hand side, is still bigger, okay? So now let's multiply by 2s and see if anything changes, okay? So we got 2 times 4 and 3 times 2, 6 and 8. Well, this side here is still bigger. Now we'll multiply by 1. Hopefully this is pretty obvious, didn't change, 4 and 3. The left side is still bigger. Now we're going to multiply by a negative 1 to both sides. So we got a negative 1 times 4. Well, that's going to make a negative 4. And then 3 times negative 1 makes negative 3. Well, if we're thinking temperature, 3 degrees below 0 is warmer than 4 degrees below 0. So our inequality actually switched to now the right-hand side is bigger. Now let's look at multiplying by negative 2. So we have a negative 8 and a negative 6. The right-hand side is still bigger. And then when if we multiply by negative 3 to both, we got a negative 12 and a negative 9. Well, negative 9 is still warmer or greater than negative 12 there. So basically what's happening with this is when we multiply by positive numbers, the big ones still stay, big, still stay bigger and the little ones still sm stay smaller. Now, when we multiply by negative numbers, the bigger numbers get bigger, but negative. They get bigger negatives. So, in this case here, when we went times regular 3, up here it was a positive 12. Here was a negative 12. So, it got bigger going the opposite direction. So, that's why when we multiply or divide by a negative, we're going to actually switch the direction of the inequalities, okay? So, when we multiply by positive numbers, nothing changes as far as which one's bigger. However, when we multiply by a negative number, it actually, which side is bigger, switches. Now, the smaller side is less negative than the bigger side. So, the smaller side is now going to be greater than when we multiply or divide by a negative number. All right, so let's have you go ahead and solve this on your own. Pause the video and then come on back. So here we're going to solve negative 4w is greater than 84. So again, we're treating these inequality symbols just like they're equal signs with the one exception, and that's if we multiply or divide by a negative. So here we go. In order to undo this w being multiplied by the negative 4, we're going to divide both sides by a negative 4. Now when we divide by a negative, we also switch the direction of the inequality. So now we can go ahead and do that division. We're going to have a W and then 84 divided by negative 4. Positive divided by negative is negative. 84 divided by 4. Don't even need a calculator for this one. It's actually pretty easy. 8 divided by 4 is 2 or 80 divided by 4 is 20 and then 4 divided by 4 is 1. So here we go. On the number line, we, we like to have 0 on there and any other important numbers. In this case, negative 21. So it is strictly less than, so it's going to be an open circle because negative 21 is not a solution. And then for less thans, that's going to be all the numbers to the left of the negative 21. Go ahead and have you try this, then come on back, see how you did. Pause the video. So here we go. We're going to solve 12x is greater than or equal to negative 60. So, we need to undo the multiply by 12 with a divide by 12. Now, we are dividing by a positive 12, so we are not going to switch the direction of the inequality. So, just because we have negatives in our question doesn't mean we switch the direction of our inequality. This is a very common mistake. You're looking at the number that you're dividing by to decide whether or not you switch the direction of the inequality. So, if you did switch the inequality on your own there, just don't make that mistake again. That's why we have this example in here. So, here we go. Divide by 12 makes negative 5. So, x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So, we have 0 and we have negative 5, the other important number. It's going to be a shaded in circle because negative 5 is a solution and all the numbers to the right. Go ahead and pause the video, solve this real quick, and then come on back. So, we got to get y by itself, so we got to undo this being divided by 5. Now, check it out. We can do divided by negative 5 
at the same time because this negative that can go out in front, it can go in the numerator or it can go in the denominator. So in order to undo this negative five here, we're gonna in our brains think of it as a negative five down here. So we're gonna multiply both sides by a negative five. So the left-hand side times negative five and the right-hand side times negative five. And we are multiplying by a negative, so we are switching the direction of that inequality there. So here we go, negative times negative is positive, five divided by five is one, y is gonna be greater than, negative times negative is a positive, and 10 times five makes 50 there. So y is greater than 50. So we want a zero on our number line, and any un other important numbers, in this case, that's gonna be 50. And so, because 50 is not a solution, because it's strictly greater than, we get an open circle, and then we're gonna shade to the right. Go ahead and solve this real quick, pause the video, and then come on back. So here we go. We're going to undo this z being multiplied by negative three-fifths. So we're going to multiply by reciprocal. So we're dividing by three-fifths, but we don't divide by fractions. Instead, we multiply by reciprocal. So we're going to multiply by negative five-thirds to both sides because we want to undo the negative, and we want to undo the three-fifths. Now remember, we are multiplying both sides by a negative, so we are switching the direction of the inequality there. So 15 over 15 is just one times z is z, and then six times five over three. Now check it out, don't need a calculator for this. It's a positive times a negative, so we know it's negative. Now when we have a whole number times a fraction, if the denominator divides into the whole number, do that part first. So six divided by three makes two, and then two times five to make 10. So that's a faster way of multiplying a whole number times a fraction. So for our number line, we need zero and any other important numbers, in this case, a negative 10. So it's or equal to, so that's gonna be a closed circle because negative 10 is a solution. And then less than, all the numbers to the left of negative 10 are also solutions. So remember on these, if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, switch the direction of the inequality. Mental note, common mistake, just because there's a negative somewhere in your question doesn't mean you're switching the sign. It has to be multiplied or divide by a negative.